Hi, my name is Volker Bruns. This is another video about uh, that shows you what you can do with Mikaya. This time it's about the AI authoring app. Uh, so you can see here how I already selected the app in the App Center. And now I'm, um, yeah, it's sort of like an editor. So uh, I create new AI, assign a name. This is here my Tonsil AI. And now I'm adding uh, three classes because what I want to do is train the AI to recognize these three tissue types blood, inflammation, and then muscle and connective tissue. Uh, I combined muscle and connective tissue into a single class just to keep it simple here for this video. I could have also separated them into separate class classes. So here I'm assigning a different color for each class. And now what I have to do is create some training annotations. So they don't really have to be very accurate. Um, but what's important is that um, the tissue that they do contain really is 100% only this this um, this class so I can add multiple annotations for every class it's important that I train the AI all the different appearances that um, this tissue type can have so now I click train and here you can see how patch by patch the AI now analyzes these regions and sort of tries to figure out what makes them distinct and now we can try out how it performs on a different region in the slide that we did not annotate so I'm adding a new class here called test, drawing a region of interest that contains all these different tissue types, and then we can see how it performs. So now this time I didn't click train, I click analyze region of interest. You can see here now how this region first gets pre-clustered. Um, that's just a trick because since we work with patches and the tissue really looks like a checkerboard, it's good for the accuracy, but also for the performance to do this pre-clustering. And you can see here, there's some, something funny going on. So all in all, it looks good, but on the bottom here, there's a region that got assigned into the blood class, even though it's clearly not blood. The reason is that the AI was trained to look mainly at the texture and not so much at color to make it robust and make it work with also with slides from different labs and different scanners. Um, and if you only look at the texture, you can see why this mistake here, uh, why, why it has made this mistake. And also, we have not included this particular uh, phenotype of the class in our initial training annotation. So really, the AI couldn't couldn't know um, that this was actually that it should have assigned it into the muscle and connective class. So that's why we added a new training annotation, sort of telling the AI that this is also how our yellow class can look like and now repeat the uh, a test analysis and this time it looks much better. So now once we are happy with how our AI performs, we can select an icon, enter description text and then enable the show and app center button. Um, and then going forward, our new AI model is available right away from the app center. It can be used to analyze uh, many, many slides. By the way, the underlying technique that's being used here is called few shot learning, which essentially means that we are not training an AI from scratch using just these few annotations, because then we would need way, way more annotations. But uh, instead, there is a pre-trained AI model working in the background that we've already trained on millions of uh, patches from histology slides. And we've trained it in a way that it generalizes very well to new use cases or different organs. And uh, that's why um, it's enough to just add a very few annotations and already the performance the accuracy will be, uh, will be quite good. So that's the concept of few shot learning. The AI learns using just a few shots or usually using just a few annotations. So I think it's really a lot of fun to, to play with this, train an AI within basically within minutes without having to write a single line of code. And um, yeah, I would be excited if you tried it out on your own data and gave us feedback. So please get in touch and also check out our other Mikaya videos. Thank you.